everyone. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to share with you guys a mini review slash first impressions. And what I'm going to share with you guys is the uh, Profusion Berries palette I picked up. And also I have the Wonder Beauty Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick. So I'm going to share these two with you guys, and if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you can see me applying the products, and as I usually do, which I am going to have all the products that I put on, if you guys are curious, down below in the description bar, I'm only going to share these two items here, me applying them. Um, because like basically these are the items that I'm going to be reviewing and sharing with you guys. I have heard quite a few people talking about the, um, fortunately there's going to be a glare, but the Profusion Berries and there was the Siennas. Everybody's been talking about the Profusion eyeshadow palettes and I did end up finding one at my Walmart. I figured I'd try this palette out. I've never tried any Profusion eyeshadows. I've heard from many that have used Profusion eyeshadows before in the past that they feel like they really stepped it up. So I can't really tell you that part, but I have heard from very many people that have been impressed with their eyeshadow qualities and they feel like they've stepped up their game. Kind of like Wet n Wild, you know, it's like a more um, lower end affordable uh, company, you know, and I... Like I said, I've never really tried anything from them. Wow, there is like some major pop of colors, as you can see right there, that pink. And then I think that's like a purpley pink color. It's kind of nice because it's like on this side, you got some nice neutrally sort of shades. And then over here, you have some of them pops of colors. It does come with a brush, which I am going to use it somewhat in this with some other brushes. Um, for my look, I don't see a shade in here that I normally would use and that I like to use to kind of, um, after I prime, I like to put on another form of a base. I don't see a shade in here that will work for me for that. So I normally, when that happens, if I don't have anything like that in my collection that I'm working with, I will just use a, uh, pressed powder of some sort and I think today what I'm going to do instead of covering it all over is just cover up above from the, from the crease and up. Um, I see some people do that too. I like to try all different techniques basically. I'm going to use the brush that's in the palette and I have to tell you it does feel like a nice quality brush. Uh, in looking at it, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I'm actually going to use this color here, which on this palette, you can see the names are on there. This one's called Disco. And it's like a, not a pale pink. It's sort of still on the bright side. So I am going to put that uh, right above my crease. Ooh, look at that. That got a lot. And there's not a lot of kick up. So for those that would want to know, right there you'll see, there's not a lot of kick up. Wow. I started tapping here instead of windshield wiper motion that I do sometimes because I'm finding that, because your skin gets sensitive there as, as we age. And so I'm trying to do it gently. That's pretty bright already, or you, you can see it. I can see it on, on the camera over here. I've got to quit looking over there. One day I will quit doing that because I know some people get annoyed by that. And I'm sorry for those that get annoyed. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more on. I dipped a little bit more in there because I want it a little bit more darker. We'll blend it out after a bit because I know it's going to look a little messy. I'm going to go into this shade right here it's called bouncy and it's it's sort of a peachy terracotta color i would call it so i'm using the flat shader side by the way we're gonna go a little bit more deeper in the crease 
again picks up pretty nice. So yes, yeah, so we're going to work that in here. I'm going to go into Madly. This is a little more of a darker, I would say it's like a red, maybe red brown. That looks a little bit better. And this color is pretty bright that I put on to begin with. It's crazy because the other one that's called Jive. Wow. <laughs> that one's pretty, pretty intense bright color. So far the brushes aren't working too bad. They're doing pretty nice. I'm going to dip back into Disco, that pink shade, just a little bit. And just gently brush along here. Go ahead and go into Go Girl. Is that what it says? Go Girl, be Go Girl. It is a purple pink shade. Here's one of my e.l.f. brushes here. I'm not sure it's kind of worn off, but it's sort of a deep crease. And that's again what I'm going to do. I'm going to go a little bit more deeper. Now you can see, whoo. I'm going to go back into Madly, which is that um, brownie red color. Now, normally I like to use my milk pencil, but I'm not going to do that because I want to see how intense the shimmers are in this palette. And so first I'm going to use the a eyeshadow brush and apply it. Then I'll try with my finger and if I need to, I'll wet it. That's what I'll do. And we'll find out how well the shimmers are. I think I'll stick with on this side of the casing. <laughs> on this side of the casing. So I see queen and I see pop. I think I'm going to go ahead and use queen this here. So I'm going to see how well that applies with a brush here. I have a flat shader brush. I like this one really well. It's from the audiography pro or something. I never heard that company, but I do like it. And I believe it came in one of my boxy charms. So there we go. Actually, I'm not going to tap it off because a lot of times I do that and I don't want to. Oh, it is applying pretty nice. It reminds me of a sh the shade that was in my Unicorn palette from Too Faced. If you got to see that video of me applying. Queen is pretty. So if you just like that coloring, how it is there, then you're fine. It applies fine. It's not intense. I'm going to try my finger and see how intense I can get with that. And then here's the color here. It's really pretty. I like to do this in the middle or on my eyelid because, and you probably have heard that this before, but it does give a nice pop and open look uh, for your eyes when you put a little more lighter shade like that. That looks more intense, definitely. I have to work back into the crease because I feel like I've lost that there. We'll wet this next and see how that goes. And that just intensifies it even more. Depending on how you want your shimmers, that one there anyway, I'm not sure if they're all like that, but for Queen, that's what I'm getting. So it's probably going to depend. So I'm going to dip back into Disco, which is that bright pink shade. I feel like I need to pop back in that. And I'm going to dip back into Madly, which is red brown shade and try and deepen it up in there too. All right. I'm going to use this real techniques shading brush and I'm going to try Annabella. 
It's very sparkly glittery though. And it, it is dark in here. So I'm going to give it a try. We shall see. Sometimes those kind of colors don't go on like the blue color that you're going to think it's going to. Which they're... Yeah, that's giving me more of what I wanted. There. It does have some glitter in it. But I don't see it as bad. But I'm only tapping very little, as you're seeing. Like, I'm only just tapping very, very little. But yeah, that's giving me what I was looking for. The kind of a fluffy brush. I'm just going to gently... There's nothing on this one. Except what was on... This one just had the... Um, From the pressed powder. So I'm going to gently do that. Yeah. See, that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. So this is what I'm getting so far from the whole look. And I don't think the center is too bad. It looks pretty good. So overall, right now, I'm liking it. It's starting to turn out much better. I had to play around with it a little bit. I will be back to get the rest of the stuff on and we'll go into the foundation. Okay, next I am going to apply the Wonder Beauty Fo or Flash Focus Hydrating Foundation Stick. And it is $40 for a uh, 9.07 grams, 0.32 ounce, 0.32 ounce. It does say it's infused with coconut oil and it's supposed to keep it your skin hydrated, which you know me, I am all about the hydration, the glowing skin, the dewy skin kind of look and all that. This is my second time using it. So I would say if you're something that's really oily, like you have really oily skin, you could probably get away with putting on a more mattifying primer and then put it on. You might not like it because it does glide on very effort effortlessly. You might not like that too much because I know from the first time I used it, it does give a real nice, dewy, glowy, youthful look. I got this with my BoxyCharm points. My shade is actually, so my shade is in light. I don't know if I got too light because I thought, should I have gotten light medium? I don't know. Now I'm going to use a sponge. I did use it with a brush, a flat kabuki, kabuki brush, and then my e.l.f. Uh, brush. It's kind of like a rounded brush and they weren't too bad. I want to try a sponge because I think a sponge might work better. And I did notice that the girl on um, the video used Wonder Be Beauty has their own sponge, like a beauty sponge. And so that's what she used. Apply it and everything. So. I'm going to go ahead and I do, I did put some concealer on. So if it does look like I'm bright under there, I did put some concealer on because I usually put my concealer on first, then I put a foundation or put my foundation on. And as you see, I have scarring and all that crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and apply. This is the Real Techniques one. I don't, I, I like it, it's not bad, but honestly, the Eco Tools one is my favorite. I actually really like the Eco Tools better, the best, I guess. So. Oh yeah, the sponge looks like it applies so much more better it looks very natural it doesn't look like you have a lot of product on even though it might have looked like i put a lot of product on to me it doesn't it doesn't even feel it do you see the luminosity coming off of it Okay, this is just one coat on, and like I said, you can see the dewy, dewiness. Um, 
it covers pretty good. I would say it's a medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. It looks natural. It looks really nice, uh, natural look. Uh, I can put a little bit more on. I honestly, normal, normally, normally, I normally would not. But for this video, I'm going to just to show you guys. But myself, no. I normally would be fine with this and then put my powder on and do whatever. Um, I'm not somebody that usually doubles up on my foundation. Very seldom do I. There might be once in a blue moon, but very seldom do I. So I'm going to just put a little bit more in those areas, I think, really. Because that's about it that I feel... Okay, second coat. Oops, keep getting that shadow from, I think, the camera. But this is the second coat. And I do have flaws, like you see. And, yeah, you can see, uh, you're, the only way, I, I've never really found, I'll be honest, I've never really found a foundation that fully hides them. Not that I can really think of. Just, they're always going to be there. But look at that beautiful luminosity you get. I just love that. I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I'll put just a little bit of powder in the T-zone area. I'm not going to put nothing heavy. But I'll be right back and just getting my overall thoughts. All right. See you in a bit. Maybe you'll get a better look when I hold it this way. You can see the colors more. And it's more brighter than what I thought in my eyes because like on here it, it it dims it a little bit more but holy cow when I was like looking in one of my other mirrors I was like whoa so I just put like a light lip light lip color on because yeah for something like this you would need a light lip color unless you want to go that bold that's up to you so that is the palette I mean overall for what I paid for it I, what did I, I I'll put the price up around here somewhere because I honestly cannot remember how much these palettes are. And that is terrible, but I cannot remember how much they were. But overall, for the price and for as many shadows as you get in here, you get 21 eyeshadows in here. And it, it, they do perform really good. I didn't have that much of a struggle with blending them. And a few things were like these brighter colors like over here kind of meshed in with each other but it still got to come together in the end so i think it turned out really nice i yeah i would say give them a try i would there's um the siennas that has more uh warm tones i know they have chocolates which is in between you know it has a little of everything in that one there is a all matte one that kind of resembles the Sienna's, but it's like an all matte version of it. So if you're not about any shimmers and you just want matte, I mean, there's that. They have a huge variety. And from what I understand, I think they ended up bringing out some more. So, which then brings me to the foundation for Wonder Beauty. Yes, I really like how it's sitting on my skin with the foundation. Like me looking at it even right now, it looks pretty good. Um, I found for myself, I like to, and I do use a primer that's more blurring, like where it blurs out the pores and everything. I do like that. I think for most stick foundations, unless you have perfect pores or great pores, like that's barely noticeable. I think for most of them, I, I feel you need a blurring found, uh, primer. I feel like that's what you would really need. Overall, like I said, this is my second time wearing it. My first time wearing it, it lasted throughout the day very well. Um, with mostly all foundations I've ever worn, um, I do I always do get that area like around here sometimes where it fades away a little bit for most of them, for majority of them. But this one's one of the ones where the longer you wear it, even the more better it gets to look as you go. Uh, you do have to touch up, I feel, you know, um, if you want to powder up a little bit here and there, sometimes I do feel like you have to, yeah, you know, touch up and everything. So, but I really think it's a great foundation stick. I really do. I would like to try their liquid one and their powder one. So I might try and work into that at some point. 
All right, guys, I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you so much. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helped me out so much and I greatly appreciate it. Do not forget, if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe and hit that bell if you'd like to, if you liked what you've seen. And as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.